Hi, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie Rivera, and for today's class, we're making these adorable bunny earrings in cold porcelain clay. I hope you like today's project. Let's get started. Now, to begin, we're going to cut out these two pieces from the template that you can find on our website. I just got these two out right here. And I am cutting out two separate pieces since these have pencil over them and turning them around would cause the pencil or ink to transfer over to the clay since we're working with white clay. But if you don't have anything that could transfer over, you can definitely just use the same piece and flip it over. Now I'm getting half a tablespoon of white cold porcelain clay and I'm using these, these wooden sticks just to keep everything the same width. Of course, if you have like a pasta machine and stuff like that, you can use that and you will keep an even consistency and thickness throughout your clay. If you don't have that, these works just as well. Now once we have that here, I'm just going to place a little cutouts on top of the clay. And I'm going to cut around this. If you have a specific surface that you work on, you can definitely use that, like an acrylic piece or something. But I'm using this different plastic sheet. You can also use a ceramic base like this one. And then just cutting around that so we don't damage our work mat. And to help the clay from sticking to things. Now I'm using a pin needle to cut this. You can use a needle or just any other kind of very thin tool that can help you cut out around this so we have nice and clean edges. Just like this. As, a, as you can see, every couple of centimeters I go to the outside and then just pull the clay just like that and being very careful as we lift it and just making sure we have the right shape right here now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other one in the exact same way once we have both pieces are gonna look like this and I'm just going around the entire edge to make sure it's nice and even and rounded and we don't have those sharp lines. We can also use a little bit of Vaseline just to smooth everything down. Now I'm just gonna place my cutout pieces on top of the clay now so I can go ahead and add the details for each earring so just going over the lines we already have the separation for the ears the head the arm the leg and now the tail and once we have those transfer over to the clay I'm just going to go ahead and use this knife tool to make the actual lines and make them very noticeable on the clay. On the clay. And there we go. Now we have just that little smooth detail, a little bit of texture. Doing the same thing on the arm. And always making sure we continue the line towards the edge. So working from the edge towards the inside of our clay piece. Just making sure we get those lines all around. And that also helps keep it very nice and clean. Now same here on the tail. This is just a line for everything we'll continue doing and also as a way to add texture and volume. And now I'm going to go in with my pink eyeshadow 
as I've mentioned before, you can definitely use any other kind of powders, powder toners to help you color these. If you don't have any or you can't find any that are specific for clay or fondant, you can go ahead and just use eyeshadows. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other bunny earring. Once we have both of them set, they're going to look like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and make the small hole at the top that we're going to use to insert the pieces for the earring. Now we're going to go ahead and make the tail. And for that, we're going to need one eighth of a teaspoon of white clay. And we're going to cut that into four pieces. So I've just measured it here. I'm splitting it into four separate pieces. And we're going to use one of these four pieces and make a ball. And we're making both of them at the same time, so they're roughly the same size. Taking away clay as needed. Just like that. Now we can put it on a toothpick just to add the texture. You can you do this with a couple of needles or even just one needle or a toothpick. That works just as well. Or if you have a little tool like this one, you can just use that. Now I'm just adding a little bit of glue on the outline for the tail on our main bunny body. Just like that. And now I can go in ahead and just gluing the tail in place. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing for the other one. And once both of them have their tails all set, I'm just going in and adding some more texture on the, more detail, sorry, on the bunny ears. Just like that. And now we're going to add more shading to these new details we added. Which is basically the inside of the ear. And I'm just going over the line that divides both ears again. Just like that. And now we're going to make the piece of clay for the eye. Now to make this easier for us, I'm just going to make the dent a little bit more noticeable. I'm just going to make it a little bit deeper. And I'm making two small balls of clay, of black clay, and I'm trying to keep them both roughly the same size, adding or removing clay as needed, just like that. And now I'm just adding a little bit of glue to secure these in place and just sliding the little eyeball into place. Now once we add the little hoop for the earring, it's not going to look like it has both eyes like it does right now. So before we move on to adding the hardware, I'm just going to go ahead and add some flowers. In this case I'm using magenta. And I just dyed natural clay, so no white base or anything, and added magenta acrylic paint to make the, this shade. If you use a white base, it's going to look more pinkish than magenta. So in this case, you don't actually need to add a white base at all. So I'm just adding that little bit of glue and then the flower in place. 
And I'm adding this around where the earring hardware is going to be, so it's not going to be as noticeable. And now I'm just going to add some leaves around the flower. And all the measurements for the flowers are on the template as well. You can also probably reference past videos if you want to have a step-by-step. -step. And I'm just adding these where I fit. I feel like they're, they fit nicely. So this is completely up to you. You can adjust as necessary. You can also add more flowers, these small ones here, but in this case, since they're so tiny, I don't want to add too many. But again, completely up to your own taste. And now we can actually work on that top part where the earrings are going to be added, where hanging from. And again, using that magenta, the same color as the flowers, I'm just going to go ahead and measure one teaspoon of this magenta clay and we're going to knead that thoroughly, stretch it out and make it the same thickness as the bunnies. And if you remember we used these skewers for that and we're going to shape this into a ball. If you have circle cutters or just round cutters you can definitely use those if you don't you can see here that a marker cap works just as well and then just make sure you round out the edges and make everything nice and smooth now i'm going to make both of them at the same time i already have mine over here and we always try to do things at the same time just to make sure they're roughly the same size. And I'm just showing you how I made those. I'm just making a hole at the bottom here, which is where we're going to be adding the little hoop that's going to un connect this little earring piece to the bunnies. And I'm just using this earring backing and attaching it to the clay. right there and then we just let that dry now the ones I have already out here are already dry and I have these small little flower buds that I'm going to go ahead and add to these other pieces and as you can see I just changed out these big roses for the little rose buds so they're not as overwhelming. And I just left that there and I'm going to place the rose on the actual earring piece, the earring backing that's going to be, it's going to go on your ear. And that helps the little bunny stand out more while also keeping the rose details. And I'm also adding a leaf here just to help the rose stand out since the little stud piece is the same color as the roses. Just like that. And I'm using glue for all of this. You can definitely work on everything using glue since the clay is has a glue base. It's going to make sure everything sticks nicely together and then you can just protect it for everyday use. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. And there we go. Now we have both of them ready. Now I'm going to go back in and add some more shading with a deeper pink. I'm going to call it like a brighter pink. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some more details to the outline of the bunny. Just around the tail, a little bit on the tummy and the neck and ears just to help it contrast a little bit better with the colors we're using and we're going to do the same thing for the other one
just like that. And now we have our little bunny earrings all ready to put everything together. And before we do that, I'm just going to get one eighth of a teaspoon of white clay and stretch that into a cylinder and get six pieces out of this. So three from each one. And from this, we're only going to need two pieces. And if you notice, I just kneaded that thoroughly and made it into this sort of cone oval thing. Just like that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add some detail right here with this rubber brush. And I'm going to go ahead and add some shading using pink eyeshadow. The brighter pink, or darker pink, I should say. More like magenta. Now we have these two ears already dry, set aside. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the head. Kneading that thoroughly, shaping it into a ball, and then more of like an, a teardrop. And this is where we're going to get the head for our bunnies. Now we're going to make the body, and for that we need one fourth of a teaspoon. I'm just kneading that thoroughly, shaping it into a ball. And with this ball, I'm just going to make another teardrop. And just placing it right here so the head is sort of looking upwards. And now I'm just shaping it a little bit more to make the space for the back and the tail. And give it a little bit of a tummy. Now I'm going to secure the ears in place. And remember on the 2D design they look like they're right next to each other. But on 3D we would have them on separate sides of the head. Just like that. And now I'm just attaching the body to the head. Just like that. There we go, and now we're going to go ahead and make the hands or the front legs, and for that we need we need to cut one piece of clay into eight separate pieces. So I just first cut it into four pieces, then four pieces again. And from these, we only need two small pieces. I'm just shaping those into a ball. And then again, into this sort of teardrop shape. Same thing for the other one. And we're going to do the same thing, just remembering that one will have to go behind the body. And the other one will have to go in front of the body. just to keep up with that 3D design. And I'm keeping them a little bit separate vertically, so one's a little bit higher than the other one. So we can see both of them from the front. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the back legs, but instead of cutting it into eight pieces, I'm just cutting it into two pieces, sorry, four pieces. And again, using those two pieces, shaping them into a ball and then that sort of teardrop an elongated teardrop and same as we did with the front legs I'm just going to place one of them behind the body and the other one in front of the body just 
just like that. And now I forgot to get the one eighth of a teaspoon for the tail. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. And this is the same size as one of the back legs. So I just shape that into a bowl, then add some texture in there. I'm attaching it to my toothpick just to make sure it doesn't roll all over the place. And I'm sorry I'm off camera here. I keep trying, but then I keep pulling things closer to me and I just get out of frame. So now I'm just adding a little bit of glue on the back here and securing the tail into place, then adding a little bit more texture. And now we have a little bunny here, a little 3D bunny, if you will. I'm just going to go ahead and make the little dot for the eye, just like that. Make it a little bit deeper, and then add a little bit of glue to place the black clay in this space, just like we did for the other 2D bunnies. And there we go. Now I'm just going to go in and add some shading, like we did with the 2D bunnies. Just going around the tail, the legs, the back legs and the front legs, and around the head. Just like that. Now in the 2D ones, I just realized I forgot a small detail, which is just a very tiny nose. And for that, I'm using magenta colored clay. And I'm keeping these roughly the same size. And I'm going to make it sort of like a very, very tiny triangle. Rounded triangle. And I'm just going to place it in front of the head right here. Just like that. And I'm just placing the other one on the other bunny. And of course, you can choose the color you want. This is just a reference since we're using magenta for everything else. And now we're also going to add the nose to this other bunny here. So I just made that flat, added a little bit of glue. And now I'm just shaping it into place. Just like that. Just making sure it's not too pointy. I'm just making it a little bit flatter there. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the flowers here. Just using some leaves. But in this case, I'm going to be using a pin. Or a wire just to keep everything in place and also because I'm using this one as a small pendant instead of an earring. Of course you can also use the same procedure just to make the earrings. And I'm just making this small twist here on this hoop, adding a little bit of glue and I'm just going to insert it from the top of the Bonnie's body. And always remember that the little hoop at the top will have to be facing forward just to make it, make it easier for everything to align. Adding a little bit more shading around the neck. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the flowers. So I'm just adding the leaves here. I'm 
right there and now I'm just adding some glue to the flower and securing it in place of course if you also want to do them like the small ones the 2d ones you can use a small rosebud as opposed to the actual rose and to add a small detail like we have on the tops of the earrings that magenta piece of clay I'm just going to get this small piece of clay of magenta clay and if you noticed I made that into a sort of bead and now using this wire I'm just sliding it into the hoop that we have around the bunny just sliding our bunny into place holding everything in place using the pliers and then just twisting it like that and now I'm inserting the clay bead at the top here just like that making sure we cover both pieces of wire and I'm going to go ahead and make another little hoop right here and making sure this extra wire right here goes into our little bead be very careful and this is much easier if you wait for all your pieces to dry otherwise you're gonna have to be really careful not to change the shape of anything And there we go. You can cut off the excess as if the wire ends up being too long. And again, being very careful to make sure the circle is facing forward. So we can actually use this as a pendant. Just like that. And again, make sure you let everything dry thoroughly. Now I'm just going to add the final little hoop right here. I just open that one up. I'm going to insert it into the top piece right here. And this is where we're going to be hanging our little earrings going through the small hole we, we had already made and then just closing the hoop. Since this is so small I like using pliers for both ends just like that and I don't know if you've experienced this but I have experienced some cases where the hoops open up on any earrings I buy so on the ones I make I like to move the hoop into that small hole on the clay and then just use glue to secure it in place and make sure it won't move around it won't open up or anything and that's it I just did the same thing for all other pieces just like that And for this one, you just need to add the little pendant holder. And I need pliers for this one too. So I'm just placing it right where I need it to be. And then closing this little attachment. And there we go. Now remember, everything here is up to your own liking and taste. So you can change the colors as needed. I hope you liked today's project. My name is Rosie Rivera. Many blessings. Thank you for joining me.